Hello viewers, welcome to LearningX. Today we are going to show you a full professional dashboard using Microsoft Excel. The dashboard will be based on sales data of a training center. You can download and use this for your business too. You'll find the download link in the description box. Download that before watching the video so that you can make some real practice by doing the same dashboard. Let's look at the database. Here we have training ID, training date, training name, package price, number of participants on the training, total revenue, training location, and training type. Basically, we'll make this charts and infographics. First of all, will be popular course by participation, training type, direct online, top five training with highest revenue, and participants trend line, and all the training and their revenue in map section. We will build a map like this. There it will be shown the revenue with green color, top revenue, and lowest revenue with red color. It's dynamic. Here we will show total revenue, total participant, and next training type. Then trend lines of the revenue of a specific location uh, for a specific year, and total revenue for that condition, total participant, and total training type. That's all we are going to make. Let's start. First of all, we'll create a new page and we'll rename it with dashboard page 1. We'll go to view, we'll remove the grid lines, then we'll go to insert, shapes, and we'll insert this shape. I'll change the color with a specific color of red, 0, green, 38, blue with 37. I'll format it. I'll give a transparency of 18%. I'll give no outline. Again, I'll insert another shape. I'll keep it here. I'll fill it with this color. I'll give no outline. I'll change the color of the sheet. I will make a copy of it. I will give a shadow effect to the shape. I will do the same for rest of the shapes. Now I will bring it to front. Now I will change the color to white. I will give no outline. Now I will bring it. Now I will drag it till this point I'll copy and I'll place it here I'll select these three shapes and I'll group it now it's a group I'll bring another shape it's okay now I'll format this I'll give a specific size of 4.58 and 2.63 I'll fill it with this color, I'll give no outline and I'll give a shadow effect. I'll place it in the right corner. I'll make some copy of it. I'll resize the shape. And now I'll keep continue copy and paste of shape as per my requirement of charts and infographics. I'll copy this for slicer and timeline. Now I'm inserting a shape to give the title of the charts and shape. I'll copy this and paste it in all the shapes. Now I'll change the color with orange and I'll give a shadow effect. I'll bring a text box to give the title sales dashboard of ABC training center I'll align it I'll give no fill and no outline Arial black font 20 size I'll keep it orange and I'll select all of the text and I'll give a shadow effect 
I will insert. I'll go to shape and I will bring this round shape. We'll have three pages, so I will give three shape and I will color it with this. I'll give a little black outline and I'll give a shadow effect. I'll copy this text box and I'll paste it here. Now I'll change the text, paste. I'll place it in the right position. Now title part, popular course, most participant training type top five training with highest revenue number of participant engaged with the training center I'll select all of this change the color bold it decrease the size of the font and I'll give a shadow effect I'll correct the spelling Now I'll give the name of the buttons. We we'll align it. Our designing part for page one is done. Now we'll insert pivot table to analyze and to create some pivot chart. We'll go to insert. We'll select pivot table and OK. Our pivot table is done. Our first chart is popular course by most participant for that we'll give training name in rows and participant in values now I'll filter it with top 10 filter I'll keep only five so that is ready I'll go to insert and I'll click to the bar I'll remove all the field buttons grid lines and unnecessary parts from the chart I'll copy the chart and I'll paste it in dashboard I'll go to format no fill and no outline I'll select this I'll make it bold and black I'll select this and I'll format data series now I'll click vary colors by point I'll give a shadow effect to the chart now I'll place it in the right position. Our first chart is done. Now we'll find out training type. For that we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. Go to analyze field list. I'll remove values from rows. Then I'll give training type on rows and total revenue in values and training date in filter. Actually, we need training year for that reason. We have to give it here. I'll click here. I'll bring years. I'll remove these two and at the end I'll get my year and I'll keep it in filter. Now it's okay. Now I'll go to insert. And I'll give this donor chart. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. I'll give no outline. Format, no fill, no outline. I'll do this for chart too. I'll remove all the unnecessary field buttons and titles from the chart. and I'll increase the size of the donut I'll change the color now I'll bring this in the middle I'll give data levels I'll right click I will show it in percentage so I'll click in percentage and I'll remove the values I'll bold it I'll make it black color I'll give this outline a black color and a shadow effect.
I'll do the same. I will give a data labels. I'll right click from a data labels inside end and I have to show it in thousand. 0 0.001 1 comma now okay. I'll write thousand or I can write K now I'll bold it I'll give this a shadow effect too it's done now I want to make a chart which will be shown top 5 training with the revenue for that I'll copy this and I'll paste it here I'll go to analyze field list I'll remove all this here and I'll give training name in rows and sum of total revenue or revenue in values I'll keep only 5 from value filter and I'll insert a chart I'll remove all the field buttons titles grid lines and unnecessary part from the chart I'll bold it now I'll make a copy of it and I'll paste it in my dashboard I'll resize it no fill and no outline and I'll change the color I'll give a shadow effect to the bars and it's done now I want to show number of participants engaged with the training center for that and I'll copy this and I'll paste it I'll remove everything and I'll give year and training date in rows and participant in values so it's done now I'll go to insert and line chart with area I'll remove all the unnecessary part copy and paste it here I'll change the color of the field and I'll reposition it I'll change the color of the axis it's done now now the last chart for page 1 is all the name of the trainings and the revenue for that I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here now I'll give training name in rows and total revenue in values or I can clear the filters it's done now link it I'll drag it I'll do same for here and it's done I'll remove the grand total now I want to conditional I'll go to conditional formatting data bar more rules and in color I'll set this color that is the theme and it's done now I don't want to show the text so that I will custom it with zero and I'll put three comma it's done I will align it to left and I'll make the font color same as like the theme so that we can just see the bars now I'll give the title training and revenue or we can bring it from here I'll make a copy of it training revenue and I'll place it I'll place it here now I'll select and I'll copy it I'll paste it as a linked picture the last option and I'll paste it here I'll resize it it's done it's also dynamic this data will be changed automatically
now I want to bring slicer I'll bring here and training location to slicer I'll copy this and I'll paste it in my dashboard now I'll change the theme I'll go to option and I'll get this theme you can modify from here I'll reposition it I'll go to slicer setting I'll hide items with no data I'll increase the number of columns to 3 I'll reposition this two, and I'll increase the number of columns till 10 now I'll report connect I'll select all the pivot tables I'll do the same for this it's already connected so it's done this is all for this part to watch the full tutorial please check the second part of this video the link is in the description box you can also find it in our channel and don't forget to subscribe our channel